Hi, it's Miss Julie. Today we're going to read Fancy Nancy and the Fabulous Fashion Boutique. The author is Jane O'Connor. The illustrator is Robin Price Glasser. The publisher is Harper. It's my sister's birthday on Saturday, so we are going on a shopping spree. That means we're buying balloons, napkins, party plates, cups, a ton of stuff. My sister and Freddie are only interested in pirates, pirates, pirates. They're completely obsessed. When she's not looking, I get my sister the perfect present, a black eye patch. On the way home, my mom agrees to stop at Belle's Fabulous Fashion Boutique. Last week, I saw the most beautiful lace fans there. Ooh la la, one of the fans is on the bargain table but I spent nearly all my money on my sister's present. Then I get an idea that is brilliant. That's fancy for super smart. I will open my own fabulous fashion boutique and sell some of my old gowns and accessories. Everything will be a bargain. If I make enough money, that lace fan will be mine. We set up the boutique in our front yard. My sister and Freddie carry signs for the grand opening. And the signs say, Nancy's Fabulous Fashion Boutique. Good deals, affordable fashions for all sizes. Bargains galore, dogs welcome. Voila! My first customers arrive, Wanda and Rhonda from across the street. Welcome to my boutique, I say. That's French for fancy store. Do you have any dresses with ruffles? Rhonda asks. Do I? Practically every dress in my boutique has ruffles. Follow me to the dressing room, I say. Oh, that looks stunning on you, I tell Rhonda. It matches your eyes. Rhonda says she'll take it. Ooh la la, my first sale. Wanda likes one of the necklaces. It's made of rhinestones. Rhinestones are genuine fake diamonds, I explain. Wanda says, I'll come back after I get my allowance. No. She can't have it. I want it, my sister says. I pretend not to hear. Au revoir, I wave to the twins. More customers come. In practically no time, I sell a boa, a parasol, and two pairs of high heels. The money is piling up. Unfortunately, business is much slower the next day. Freddie wants a red cape, but I explain that the fashion boutique does not accept chocolate coins. My sister still wants the rhinestone necklace. Here, she gives me a penny. I try to make her understand the necklace costs way more than a penny. And anyway, you like pirate stuff, I say. Pirates don't wear rhinestone necklaces. My sister does not understand. She throws a tantrum, a tremendous, gigantic, horrendous tantrum. Sure enough, Wanda shows up right then to buy the necklace. Double ooh la la. I have enough money now to buy the beautiful fan. Later on, my sister catches me wrapping her birthday present. Is it the pretty necklace? Is it the pretty necklace? She asks. It's a surprise.
is all I say. Suddenly I feel bad. I don't want her to be disappointed on her birthday. I ask my dad to walk me over to the twins' house. Is there any way I can persuade you to return the necklace? I ask Wanda. Persuade is fancy for getting somebody to do something you want. Here is what it takes to persuade Wanda. I give back her money and I give her two bracelets and a ring for free. I guess I have to forget about the beautiful fan. On Saturday morning, my sister opens her presents. She loves the eye patch and she is overjoyed. That's super duper happy. When she sees the necklace, she is wearing them both when her guests arrive. The pirate treasure hunt has just begun when, uh-oh, it starts raining. We all hurry inside. The rain does not stop. What will we do now? My sister asks. My party is no fun. Hey, why don't we put on a fashion show? I say. Everyone dresses up in all the leftover stuff from my boutique. Then I race downstairs for bananas. Why? Balancing a banana on your head makes you walk tall and straight like a model. I demonstrate. That's fancy for show. How to do it. Just like at a real fashion show, I describe each ensemble. Ladies and gentlemen, doesn't the pirate queen look lovely in her royal blue evening gown? At the end, there is lots of applause. That's fancy for clapping. Now it's time for the cake. We all sing. Happy birthday, dear Jojo. You are a wonderful big sister, my dad whispers to me. I feel so happy, almost like it's my birthday too. The next day there is a surprise, a big sister present. It is the fan. Don't you love happy endings?